In addition to being the CIO, I have the responsibility of transforming Genpact through a program called Client Zero. We are applying AI first principles to our internal operations and to become the gold standard of what we can do for our clients. Through Client Zero, we have gained proof and perspective. And because we have lived the transformation journey ourselves, we now have the credibility to lead our clients on theirs. While this transformation is being driven across all the functions, HR is leading the pack with multiple agentic solutions deployed. I have Indira here, my transformation partner in HR function. The past one year has been very intense on many counts. Our strategic pivot has dramatically changed our business context and our operating model. We are in the midst of a full-scale ERP implementation, and like all of you, we are trying to keep up pace with the rapidly evolving AI landscape. Over the next few minutes, Indira and I will give you all a flavor of where our journey, where we are today, our successes, our failures, and more importantly, our learnings. Indira, over to you. Thank you, Vidya. Our biggest learning over the last two years, you cannot build an autonomous enterprise on a foundation of legacy debt. In other words, you cannot automate chaos. So clear the clutter and then let AI do the magic. We pride ourselves on being a process and a data-driven organization. Despite this, we had accumulated legacy debt over the years, especially when we prioritized short-term fixes over long-term scalable solutions. The videos and the demos make it look easy and effortless, but in reality, our transformation journey has been years in the making. In our early experiments, we often threw AI at data and uh, process issues. The results were cool, but not scalable. Let me share some examples of how we have cleared our debts and set the foundation to deploy AI at scale. Let's start with process debt. We used to run traditional once a year employee surveys that would take months to set up, test, roll out, analyze, and generate insights. It was painful. The form was static and asked the same set of questions from all employees. We reimagined the process and brought about a dramatic change in the velocity of our data to insights to action loop. Today, our chief listening officer is an AI-powered agent called Amber, which proactively reaches out to employees, resulting in half a million conversations every year. The agent asks questions that are relevant to the employee's professional journey. This gives us real-time sentiment analysis so we can take action that is hyper-personalized and immediate, resulting in an industry-leading 85% positive employee sentiment. Talking about data debt, rewind to 12 months back. As HR professionals, our stakeholders would constantly ask us for data and insights, which would be scattered across multiple transactional systems, Power BI dashboards, and Excel sheets. I'm sure this sounds familiar to at least some of you, uh, we would spend hours or even days to extract data, clean it, and make it look presentable. Using Data Fabric's One Lake architecture, we now have a single source of truth for training and powering AI models. Fabric supports real-time analytics, making it possible to run AI-powered applications on live data. Insights are being made available to our business stakeholders via data agents that enable self-service. No messy data wrangling anymore, literally just chat with data for insights. You can ask it anything from who were the five highest paid sales executives last year to what is the median compensation of accounts payable, associates in Bucharest, or even what are the leadership lessons aligned to the Genpact values from the movie A Few Good Men? The answers are specific, insightful, and contextual. Lastly, technical debt. We have been modernizing our enterprise tech stack over the last few years and have sunset over 40% of our applications. Let me give you an example from recruitment. 
We hire and onboard tens of thousands of employees every year across 40 countries. There was a time when we were using 14 different systems for recruitment. System interoperability, scalability, and maintenance were nothing short of a nightmare. We untangled the spaghetti of legacy systems, and now we have a globally standard set of tools. We have already deployed AI that has increased the speed of profile screening by 6x and reduced offer drops by 30%. We recently launched our first recruitment agent. It reaches out and collects necessary documents from candidates and validates them for accuracy, saving time on manual reviews. Next on the roadmap is an AI agent that can assist with negotiating job offers with candidates. Identifying, prioritizing, and fixing our debts has been an iterative process. And this has helped AI truly scale across our HR function. Not as a shiny gadget for one-off pilots, but as a core engine that's transforming the way we recruit, onboard, develop, and engage our employees around the world. Speaking of scale, let me walk you through how we are driving enterprise-wide transformation. Last year, we launched Scout. It has evolved from being an AI assistant to a family of agents for all our employees. These agents are built with Genpack's contextual information and are omnipresent in the flow of work. We have nearly 200 agents in production today. All our agents are being built in the AI Gigafactory, leveraging AI Maestro. We are on a massive adoption drive, and we have over 35,000 active users each month using Scout. The newest edition is a personal knowledge agent for our senior leaders called My Twin. It is built using Genpat's proprietary Scout architecture on the Vivin.ai platform. And I have Ashutosh there from Vivin. Hi, Ashu. Whether it's prepping us for our next year co, tracking actions we committed to, or even surfacing risks buried in our inbox, My Twin helps us move faster, lead smarter, and focus on what matters the most. The biggest enabler of enterprise transformation at scale is talent. We have targeted programs and initiatives for our employees. Last year, our teams clocked 11 million learning hours, which is industry leading. This year, we have doubled the pathways for our people to learn, grow, and future-proof their skills. We are now building a generation of AI practitioners and AI builders. To harness the power of our AI-skilled workforce, we have also introduced a no-code agent builder solution on our AI Mistro platform. It helps our workforce to design, build, and monitor agents with speed and scale. You can actually build an agent in less time than it takes to drink your coffee. Our focus on scale led to a step change towards greater speed and bigger outcomes. Now let's hear from Indra, how did we actually pull this off? There is no silver bullet. Let me pick the top three areas we focused on. First is exponential goals, not incremental, but totally unreasonable objectives that leverage AI's compounding potential. Expecting at least a 10x change in outcomes will drive a disruptive AI-first mindset. Next is ecosystem-led development which means building solutions through collaborative cross-boundary partnerships. For example, we have worked with MIT, leveraging their deep expertise in collective intelligence to deploy organizational network analysis. This is an AI algorithm that uses email metadata to flag disengaged leaders at the risk of attrition, and it helps us take talent actions proactively. Lastly, experience, because adoption is our biggest obsession. AI that nobody uses is just an expensive screensaver. For example, we launched HRpedia, our AI agent to help employees get instant responses and counsel to their queries and HR policy requests. HRpedia has facilitated over a quarter of a million employee interactions within its first 10 months, engaging 30% of our workforce. While this is good, our aim is to have at least 50% employees use it by December this year and eventually become the pit stop for all our employees for any HR question. 
So, did we nail it all the first time? Absolutely not. We had our share of MVPs that were more minimal than viable. Uh, so this hasn't been a story of flawless execution. It's been a story of collaboration, experimentation, and learning how to fail fast and move on. And here's the best part. It's a story any organization can replicate, provided they are willing to do the hard, unglamorous prep work before expecting AI to serve up the magic. To summarize, uh, we have applied AI first principles across all the functions in the enterprise. We are rethinking our operating models and our organization structures as we step into a world where agents and humans work together to deliver exponential business outcomes. For example, our finance teams are using Agent AKP and Billing Agent to work faster and smarter. We also have Finance Insights Hub, which is chat with data for our CFO and his leadership team. In IT, we have over 20 AI agents in use. These agents do a variety of jobs from service disk management to code writing to application management, incident triaging and resolution, and lots more. All of this has reduced our IT support headcount by 24%. There are several more examples across procurement, infrastructure, sales, marketing, and the list can go on. All these agents are accessible through Scout and communicate with our employees with, uh, through intelligent nudges, making Scout a UI for AI in the flow of their work for everyone. It's early days of agentic AI. We are seeing success and we are learning a lot. It's a long road ahead and we are very excited about our opportunities. Mm -hmm.